good morning to all today we are going to discuss about load and stress right from uh, first unit what is load it is uh, defined as any external force acting upon a machine part the following four types of uh, loads are important from the subject point of view okay first one is dead or steady load what is steady load a load is said to be a dead or steady load when it does not change in magnitude or direction live or variable load okay a load is said to be a live or variable load when it changes continuously okay suddenly applied load what is suddenly applied load uh, suddenly applied load or uh, shock loads right the load is said to be a suddenly applied or shock load when it is suddenly applied or removed impact load okay what is impact load the load is said to be an impact load when it is applied uh, with some initial velocity okay stress what is stress when some external system of force or loads act on a body the internal forces are set up at various section of the body which resist the external forces okay this internal force per unit area at any section of the body is known as unit stress or uh, simply a stress okay it is denoted by greek letter sigma mathematically we can say sigma equal to p by a that means load by area stress equal to load by area where p equal to force or load acting on a body and a equal to cross sectional area of the body okay then strain then we are going to discuss strain what is strain when a system of force or loads act on a body it undergoes some deformation right that means you uh, going to apply a tensile or compressive load on the material right that material is trying to extend or compress or shrink it okay this deformation per uh, unit length is known as unit strain or simply a strain it is denoted by a great letter epsilon okay strain you can write uh, epsilon or uh, small okay delta l divided by l where delta l equal to change in length of the body and original like l equal to original length of the body tensile stress and strain when a body is subjected to two equal and opposite axial pulls p as shown in figure then the stress induced at uh, any section of the body is known as tensile stress as shown in figure right here uh, uh, one object is uh, shown here okay and both said load uh, applied p is load here uh, tensile load is applying okay so what will happen the material is trying to extend okay a little consideration will show that due to the tensile load there will be degrees in uh, cross section area and in, in increase and increase in length of the part the ratio of the increase in length to the original length is known as tensile strain let p equal to tensile force acting on the body a equal to cross section area of the body l equal to original length delta l equal to increase in length 
tensile stress sigma t equal to p by e tensile strain epsilon t as small e t equal to delta l divided by l thank you